Hi, everybody. Got a new addition to the collection here. This beautiful 45-year-old Ovation pacemaker. When I was in high school, I always wanted one of these things. I did have a nice Ovation six-string when I was in high school, and I always loved Ovation guitars. And I had an Ovation breadwinner, which was their solid body electric, kind of a rare bird uh, for the time. Uh, but I always wanted an Ovation 12-string and never got one. So here it is, 63 years old, finally get around to getting one. Uh, this instrument, when I first got it, the neck on it was like a ski slope and the action's really high on it. So I had to do some tweaking to it. I want to talk to you today about a secret that Ovation guitars have that a lot of people don't know about. Adjusted the truss rod first thing to kind of straighten out the neck there that even for an old guitar There was still some play in the truss rod. That was a good thing It wasn't completely locked up a lot of times with an old 12 string You'll find where the truss rod has been cranked down cranked down cranked down and there's no more play in it So first thing I had to do was get a, like a little nut driver and then just loosen the truss rod I took the strings off of it just to kind of check the frets out and everything before restringing it Here's where the secret comes in. The bridge saddle on Ovation guitars contains the piezoelectric elements for the pickup. And there's a wire that goes down to the body, to the preamp and the volume control and everything. But, the, and, and most acoustic guitars, if you have to uh, adjust the action, you have to do it by taking the saddle out, shaving it down, and put it back in, kind of fitting it and being very careful with it. Ovation knows that with these piezoelectric sensors in it, that's kind of problematic. So what they did, down, Underneath the saddle of every Ovation guitar, there's two of these. These are shims. Little pieces of plastic, custom cut, and placed underneath the bridge saddle. It's in the ones that have pickups in them. It's in the ones that don't have pickups in them. It sits underneath, the, you have the, the saddle with the piezoelectric elements in it, and then there's a little tray that it kind of sits in, and this is underneath that tray. So what you do is when you take the strings off, take a little tiny screwdriver, come down to this end here, and you can just lift it up very carefully. There's a little pin that kind of helps hold the bridge in and, and lines it up. You take that little pin out, pull your bridge out, let the cable just kind of hang here for a little bit, uh, lay it in a way so it doesn't scratch the top of your instrument. And then take that little screwdriver and you can lift these two little pins out here. Now, if you want to, have, they, they ship it with a high action because every guitar manufacturer, when they send it to the a music store, they don't want the guitar to be buzzing. And so, because I mean, that's just going to turn a, a customer off if they pick it up the guitar and they hear buzzing the first time. And so they're going to they're gonna go with a high action to begin with. Then, if you want to remove these, you just take that bridge out and you can take these out. So you take one out, you can have a medium action. Take the second one out, you're going to have a low action. This guitar plays like but uh, now this is great. I love the feel of this. Very easy to play. I put extra light strings on it, strung it back up, tweak the uh, the truss rod to where it needs to be for these particular strings. The neck straightened right out. 45 years old. A quality guitar is a quality guitar. Uh, this one is in really great shape. I'm in love with it already and uh, just a great thing to add to my collection. So thanks for watching this. I hope you find this tip helpful. If you're an Ovation owner and you have some comments, please put them in the comments below. Love to hear from you. I've been an Ovation fan for many years. Now, like, subscribe, and share if you found this helpful, and check back in the channel for more information in the future. And uh, I'm gonna go back to playing this thing. All right, bye everybody, thanks.